How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here, and it's time that we jump into MLB The Show 18's franchise mode. Had a lot of fun last year with The Show 17, taking the Oakland Athletics to two World Series championships using those money ball tactics, baby. And uh, considering we succeeded with Oakland, I thought we'd really challenge ourselves for The Show 18 here. I got my eyes set on Everest. So we're starting it up fresh, start new franchise mode. Uh, I'm not going to use the live rosters. I'm going to use current rosters i've actually downloaded a uh a pretty highly rated roster update from the roster vault so i'm trusting it hopefully it is good last year with oakland we were in the al this year we're going to the national league so no designated hitter our pitchers have to be in the lineup no we're not using the san francisco giants we are going to use a team that has never won a world series the san diego padres boys it's time for a rebuild 25th for rank uh 20th for contact, 23rd for power, 27th for pitching, 7th for defense, maybe a gold glover in there, 3rd for speed, so we got some speedsters, but only a team budget of 80 Five million. To put that into context, the uh, Boston Red Sox, 179 million. All right, what about the uh, Chicago Cubs? What do they got? 164 million. So these teams that are true contenders for the World Series, I mean, they're basically double our budget. So there's a lot of things we have to accomplish here with San Diego. The yearly goal is to finish above 500. I don't see that happening. I can make a few trades, and that's the great thing about franchise mode. I will be asking you guys questions on how we should uh, improve the team. I will be reading the comment section. The yearly goal, though, to finish above 500, I don't see that happening. I want to rebuild this team. The contract goal, which is three years long, is to reach the postseason, and I do think that's attainable. We should be we should be setting this team up for year number three, though, okay? But it should be interesting. Uh, maybe we can sneak in. Maybe we can get over 500. I want to work on the team budget and also have a solid draft. So the San Diego Padres, boys. Let's try to get them their first World Series in franchise history. So GM contracts are three years long, blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty familiar with this. I've gotten caught up and I will help anyone who's new to it to understand what's going on. So we're going to turn off GM contracts. I don't want to get fired at the end of year number three as we're building the team. That would be anticlimactic. And uh, everything else off, 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 off. You can read them. Designated hitter auto. That means in the AL it will be there. In the NL it won't be there. So welcome to the Padres. This is the... Uh, the different settings that you can have on, you can have it manual or you can put it to auto-manage. Coaching tasks, player development tasks, and general manager tasks. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty familiar with this. The game looks new, but it plays exactly the same as the show 17. There might be a few different changes with the simulation engine, but I just mean the... Uh, uh, the game itself. So we're going to leave all that on manual. We're going to advance. Now your goal in this mode is to develop your organization to elite status through scouting, training, and roster moves. Choose where you'd like to start for your first season. Now normally I'd start in spring training, but uh, with the Oakland Athletics, we made a lot of trades right out the gate. And you know what? I don't want to do that this year. I want you guys to chime in, and I want it to be realistic. I don't want any unrealistic trades. So let's start in the regular season. That way, in this video, we can actually have some gameplay. We can take a look at the roster. It's a 162-game season. That was the one thing I didn't have enough of in the uh, Oakland Athletics series. Not enough gameplay, so i got to bring that. We're going to have that in this video. But before we get really started, let's just go through um, everything here and show show off any of the new features, show off the, the new look, because it definitely does look different. So you got your homepage, manage, acquisitions, league, options, and back to the home. The homepage looks great. I love how it shows the two pictures now. And uh, after the game as well, it'll give you a, a whole statistical update. Um, you got your play now. You got your calendar, which looks exactly the same, operates the same as well. You can sim nice and quickly through it. Scouting report, once you click on it, it acts exactly the same as it did last year so if you like scouting and MLB the show 17 you'll like it again in 18 uh, it also shows you this nice little screen where you're deep and where you're shallow in uh, in terms of your roster uh, review sponsorships sponsorships are back in this but I want to make it hard for us we're going to increase our budget the old-fashioned way by making our team better and uh, also bringing in the right kind of contracts so I'm not going to apply any sponsorships view budget we have just over 700 k a week, so we are profiting. I'm going to have to take a look at the roster. Any players who we don't want, any older players that are making too much, it might be time to... Uh to move on because that's how we're going to make some more money for next year. I don't exactly know, know how the budget works. I think if you end the year with a, a profit or a surplus, that will go into your budget for next year. Not all of it, like a percentage. So it is important that we make money on this team. 
um, review sponsor view budget set my trading block all right so the trading block is there again trade talks the trade screen is exactly the same I love this as well I mean NHL has got to get this you can just go Manny Machado right and uh, put all prospects or MLB ready and the game will actually figure out a trade that the Baltimore Orioles would be willing to make so I could get Manny Machado right now for manual market an A potential 23-year-old, 79 overall center fielder. Will Myers, our right field. He's he's only 81 overall. Oh my God. Freddie Galvis as well. Now, we're not going to be making any trades in this video unless it's something uh, to unload, but uh, just to show you. And also, the next phase. This is the, the next major event to happen. So the draft in 69 days. That really becomes useful at the offseason because the offseason has completely changed. We'll get to that in a few videos, I guess. Uh, manage screen. So we got your roster. We'll go through our team in a second. Lineups, you got your right-handed DH, no DH, left-handed DH, same as last year. Pitching rotation, looks like that. Budget, we've already been in. GM goals, looks the same as last year, so you have your... Uh, each year, your goals, it's set out for you by your organization. The morale, which I really like in this game, is just about figuring out what the prerequisites are to improve a player. And uh, that's something you really want to look into when constructing a team. You, I always like to overpay players unless they want like $25 million a year. Because they'll go from like a 79 overall to an 82, 83 overall. And that does help you out. Uh, training. This is, uh, this is back exactly the same if you want to uh, increase... Individual stats for certain players. If you want somebody to have a better arm or, or only focus on power, you can do it. Sponsorships. The next screen is acquisitions. Free agency. All right, so you can see, uh, I think the live roster still has guys like Jake Arrieta and uh, O, who's the newest relief pitcher for the Blue Jays on there. This new roster, you guys let me know if anything needs to be uh, needs to happen. I can always change it around, I think, as long as we don't go too far into it. But uh, this roster update had the most votes had a lot of downloads. We're just going to go with it. Uh, free agents. Scouting report. So the scouting is back. I already showed you that. Uh, trades, contracts, contracts for your coaches. It's back. Exactly the same, man. we got to get some new coaches. Also, your uh, your uh, contracts for your scouts. The better scouts you have, the better players you can find. That's something that I think we want to put a lot of money into, especially year number one. Transactions. It's all the history. Trades. And then the standings, league leaders, statistics, top prospects, all this stuff. Yeah, and then the settings, okay? Now, for this, the only setting that we're going to have off, just because uh, in baseball, I don't want to have to deal with it. It's hard enough anyways. Uh, you guys may think it's cheap or whatever. General, uh, where is it? Injuries. I turn injuries off just so we can have... Uh uh, some fun while we're playing. I'm not going back to the in or to the roster screen every freaking week. I have enough of that in NHL 18. Don't need it in this game. It's already deep enough. So that is that. We are up to date. Now we can take a look at our team. So if we go to standings, we are in the National League West, the LA Dodgers, the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Dodgers are second rank. If you take a look at the top right, six for contact, second for power, second for pitching. They're going to win this division. Uh, Clayton Kershaw is going to have like 30 wins. The Diamondbacks, second for speed. 14th overall the Rockies 15th overall but they got fourth for contact usually the contact and power can really give you a boost pitching sometimes can the Padres 23rd were really fast we got good defense but no contact no power no pitching and then the Giants back there as well eighth so finishing above 500 maybe but uh, we're gonna have to get some luck now let's take a look at our team so roster, starting pitchers, we got Tyson Ross, 30 years of age, 80 overall, I can take a look at uh, salaries, I'll do that later. So a guy like Tyson Ross making uh, 4.2 million, you know, if this guy's not going to be a part of our future, how many years left does he have, hang on a sec, uh, one year left, see what I mean, I don't want to have to pay this guy like 6 or 7 million next year just to get him back, it might be a guy that we unload, but maybe closer to the trade deadline, definitely not in this video, uh, Denilson Den 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 Lamet. Oh, God, i got to get used to all these names. Damn, he's got some real good break. That must be a slider. A slider's his first pitch, and this breaks up at 99. Good Lord. Uh, Clayton Richard. All right, Luis Perdomo. Matt Stam. All right, so you can see the problem that these guys have. However, there are some good young pitchers. Lamette, 25, 78 B potential. Uh, Perdomo, 24, 74 B potential. So let's grow these guys. Well, we got to make sure that we grow these guys. They're down there in AA right now. Make sure that they play in the right spots. I'll, I'll take care of that in a second. Second. Uh, relief pitchers, Carter Caps, 27, 78 overall, B potential. Uh, pretty good stats. Might walk some guys, 
but uh, could also grow. I could always focus on growing that area. Closing pitchers, Brad Hand, 88 overall. So if we're not going to use this guy, if we're not winning, trade this guy away. How many more years left? Oh, he's got uh, three years left, though, so you'd want to hold on to this guy. Look at his uh, morale, though. He's actually a 90 overall player, but he's unhappy because our coaching is only in uh he wants a top tier coach we have a c tier coach we need to get an a tier coach don't want to be spending money on coaches just yet there brad hand catchers we got the vet ryan i mean ryan ellis aj ellis too much uh, gm mode austin hedges he's got the good defensive stats if i remember eric hosmer oh shit they got eric hosmer on this team how much did he he must have just signed a contract right 9.8 oh yeah eight year deal all right so that'll take him up to 36 years of age okay so this guy's our stud He's not going anywhere. We're going to hold on to this guy. In three years, he'll be 31. He can certainly... Oh, God damn. Look at those stats. Gold-gloving first baseman over here. Durability, 99. Clutch, discipline. Contact versus righties. This guy might be able to hit 300 with an on-base percentage close to four if you just use him against righties. If he's out there against lefties, it might bring him back down to earth. But against righties, this guy is fire, man. All right, so that's a good one. We can build this team around Eric Hosmer. We got a good guy for, uh, what, put him number three in the lineup? To get, like, a powerful clutch guy who can clear the bags after him? Uh, we'll have to, we're building for the future, boys. Maybe get bring back Perky Nips. He'd be perfect for him. Uh, Corey Spangenberg. Pretty good against righties. Utility player, third base. You play the outfield as well. Okay. Uh, Chase Headley, 33 years of age. Might be somebody we end up trading away. Freddie Galvis, 28 years of age. Good fielder. And you can see why their fielding stats are so good. 70, mid-70s across the board, so he can do it all. Uh, Jose Perella, 28 years of age. C potential, but 82 overall. Another utility guy. He could play it all as well, except for third. Uh, Alex Dickerson. I thought this guy had power. I guess not. Uh, Travis Jankowski. A lot of these guys. So we gotta we gotta grow these guys who uh, have the uh, who are in their mid twenties with B potential, A potential. Manuel Margot. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Eighty seven speed, contact hitter. Yeah, what I would want to get. What? I, well, first off, he's got the A potential, which means he's gonna get to at least ninety overall if you grow him the right way. His power doesn't need to be touched. He's already powerful enough. I'm thinking leadoff, man, with that 87 speed. If you work on the contact righty, the contact lefty, get those into 75, and maybe get the discipline up into the 60s, and then work on the arm strength, you might have a guy that's just a lethal leadoff man who can also be a potential gold glover. I don't know. It depends on what that A is. And just for, I won't do this often, but if you go to edit player, you can actually take a look at it. Uh, it's 91, so his potential is 91. So he can grow to 91 overall, maybe even further than that. So that's uh, that's a good prospect right there. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if it's a prospect at 23 years of age. Uh, Frenchy, what is that? Frenchy Cordero, B potential, 23 years of age. Yeah, we got a lot of young players. Will Myers, here he is. 80, only 81 overall. What kind of season did he have last year? 30 home runs, 74 RBI. 243 batting average, and he only gets that. Well, his discipline is nice. Damn, man, Will Myers. We got to grow this guy. So, right fielder Will Myers hitting number four. Eric Hosmer, left, uh, left bat, left handed batter hitting number three. So, you can go with Hosmer and Will Myers for the future. Maybe get, uh, what's his name? Uh, fuck. Mar what's his name? Jesus. Manuel Margot, get him up there as well. Hunter Renfro, 26 years of age. Damn, he's got some power. Yeah, it doesn't have very good contact versus righties, but you could grow that. Uh, good, good, got good arm strength, so in the right field, yeah. Uh, so if you can grow this guy's fielding and reaction into the 60s, he's got the arm strength for the right field. He's got the power versus lefties. All you'd have to do is get that contact versus righties up there. Uh, he's already 26, but uh, let's just, for argument's sake, let's see A potential. It's not So it's not like it's that 99 overall potential. So there's a bunch of guys here on the San Diego Padres that we could certainly grow. Um, I just don't know which ones are going to be valuable or not. So calendar, I'm going to leave the lineups on auto for right now. You guys can chime in later on what we should do. Rosters, I'm going to leave on manual. I don't want any trades. Now let me just go back to, speaking of trades, let me go back to the trades. This way I can see, it, it says it right under, uh, right over the Padres SP. It says the salary. None seeking 4.25 million final year 159k dash week. I want to take a look and see if there's anybody who's making a ridiculous amount of money on this team. So this guy, like uh, Clayton Richard, 2 million for 74 overall. I could save some money for the year on that if I get rid of him. All right, nobody else realistically. Uh, relief pitchers, let's see. 530k for a guy who's 60 overall. No, thank you. 
Can save money there. A lot of guys who are like 530k, not get rid of them. Brad Hand is at 4 million. Uh, I'd like to hold on to Brad Hand because we have a few years with him, don't we? Yeah, so by year three, Hosmer, Brad Hand, Will Myers, uh, Margit, you're starting to see a team here. Uh, Padres, Austin Hedges could also be a good defensive catcher for us by uh, year number three. Okay, so that doesn't uh, that doesn't hurt us. We could also get rid of AJ Ellis, even though we're going to need somebody to play behind the plate this year. Uh, let me see. But we might just want to give the time to uh, Hedges. Now, Eric Hosmer's making a lot, but somebody's got to make some money on this team. He's going to be the centerpiece. Uh, Spangenberg, two mil. It's not that bad. How many years left for Spangenberg? Final year. Going to have to make some decisions here. Chase Edley up at three million. So we'll go into the year. We won't make any trades. We'll see what our record ends up being like. But this, we should make a, we, we should make a decision. Uh, eventually, so we can save some money. Will Myers up at 6.87 for four more years. So yeah, you got a few guys here that could certainly be a part of your team. Brad Hand, the closer, three years from now, be 31, he'll be fine. Eric Hosmer, three years from now, 31, he'll be fine. Uh, Jose Peralta, that C potential, he could drop. Will Myers, hopefully he grows, he'll be 30 by that time. Freddie Galvis could be a good defensive shortstop for us in three years. Uh, Ma uh, Manuel Margot, hopefully he becomes 90 plus overall in three years. Uh, these pitchers, all right, uh, Carter Caps in three years could be 80 overall. Yeah, you got some. Austin Hedges could be a good defensive catcher. So it's just about Hunter Renfro, another one. Yeah, it's just about growing these players. So this is what we've got to do on this team, boyos. So we're going to turn on critical situations. There they are. So if anything pops up, we're going to have some fun with it. But before we go ahead, I'm not going to be trading away any uh, players. There weren't any horrible contracts. I just want to show you guys a few things. So we'll go to coaches' contracts, right? I could fire a bunch of these guys, but that's going to cost a lot of money. I mean, this guy, our hitting coach, only C attribute. I'll fire him in his last year when I got some money. If I want to fire this guy right now, i got to take care of that four years and that's going to total 1.25 million so we've got to get these shitty coaches off our team the old-fashioned way by just letting them ride it out it's going to hurt our chemistry but uh i want to save the money for the right areas and the one area that i will spend scouting so hang on a second contracts about to uh back to scout contracts okay so Right now, this guy's 65K a week. That's not good. 68K a week, that ain't good. 94K a week, that is good. This guy, Hugh McGill, he would be very good at uncovering positional players. Not great at, at pitchers, but uh, I'll just use him for positional players. So uh, we want to find some batters, this guy, or some fielders. This is our man. And then this guy down here ain't the greatest either. So I want efficiency and discovery. So this guy at the bottom can go, Cyrus Merced. Now up here, let's see, efficiency, discovery, positional players. Here we go, Crosby International. That's the one. I want that one. Sidney Crosby, baby. All right, so that will really help. Two guys can really uncover a lot of... Uh, a lot of prospects for us. Next up, let's see. So I have a international. I have a west. Is there any east or central? There's a central right here. Low discovery. Another central right here. It's not bad. It's got good efficiency and discovery. It's just the pitcher's kind of low. Uh, positional player central. That's not that bad either. All right, let me see at the top. I don't have to get uh, different for every position. Yeah, this one I have to. International. So I'm going to have two international scouts. Oh, well. Uh, all right, you can replace him. All right, you can always fire them next year to replace them uh, with somebody else. And pitchers. I want this guy because he's got the best efficiency discovery for uh, for pitchers. Then This guy's got good efficiency but no discovery. Uh, we want to discover players. So there it is, Washington, another international. All right, uh, so 65K. Actually, I can... Let's see, pitchers, efficiency, pitchers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm doing here for scouting. I've done it before. So there you go. There's our new scouting setup. We have three international scouts and one guy from the West. Uh, finding players from San Diego might be useful, but uh, I'm going to try to just get the best scouts for right now. We can do that stuff later. So that's the scouting taken care of. Uh, contracts taken care of. Oh, now we have to send our scout out. Right. So international scout. This guy's good at scouting pitchers. So what I'm going to do is pitchers, international, right-handed velocity. We'll try velocity. So he's going to go for that. Now this guy is good for positional players, international. So international outfield. Let's go power and contact. Let's try to find some pop out there, baby. We already got some good contact hitters. Got to find some power to hit behind Eric Hosmer. Uh, West another positional player we'll go west infield 
power and contact there it is and international crosby positional players which one would we do, did we do before international outfield so we're going to do international infield this time and uh we'll go power and contact okay trying to get some pop on this team bunch of guys also who we could draft i don't know when our draft position is hopefully it's high up where did the uh the padres finish in the season last year oh man maybe, maybe we had the first overall pick i don't even know uh, all right, so that's taken care of. Our scouts are going to take a few days at a time to go through that. Uh, data settings. Let me just show you guys the uh, options. They're going to be on all-star hitting, all-star pitching, and uh, all-star throwing difficulty. If you guys think it's too easy, I can always increase it. You guys let me know. So that's that, Boyles. Uh, free agents, we can always sign a few guys, but we got to save that money, right? So, yeah, we can sign Trevor Rosenthal to improve our bullpen. Take a look at his stats. He might walk a lot with that low 44, but you're talking about $3.1 And if we want to increase our budget, we got to save money. So this is the thing. But then there's some young players like Rodney Gribble, 75 overall, C potential. Looks like a pretty good batter right there, and I can get him for 100 k Right, so those are the kind of players that we want to target. So I'm not going to go into free agency just yet. I'm going to show you guys the list. There's the starting pitchers. I'll show you the little list. Uh, all the I'll show you the list of all the players down to 60 overall. Okay, so you guys pause or, or go slow motion, and if you see somebody that you think we should pick up, let me know in the comments section. All right, so down to 60. I'm not even. I can't. There you go. That guy's not bad. 18. I'm trying to find a 70 with like an 18 or 19. Uh, down to 60. There you go. Uh, that's 60 overall. Ain't the greatest. Uh, 19 with 67 overall. That's really good. D potential, though. But still, D potential could uh, good for one year, right? And then we could trade them. So uh, there is the free agency list. You guys let me know what you think. I think we've taken care of everything. Yeah. So what we didn't do last year too much with the Oakland Athletics was have some gameplay. I want to I wanna have some gameplay in this video. So let's go, baby. So regular season underway. We're going to get some games played so we can take a look at the stats and make the trades later on. First series, we got the Milwaukee Brewers. Jimmy Nelson up against our ace, Tyson Ross. All right. So let me just make sure again, critical situations are on. Good. So I'm not going to miss out on anything. Let's play ball, boys. A regular season for the 2018 year under way the first uh, first or oh, opening day we lose five to nothing oh it's gonna be a long season boyos denisel denelson lemets oh jeez, he's damn whoa something popped up hang on a second manage the roster blah 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 yeah 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 i don't need any of this stuff contracts they're just yeah, they're just teaching me about stuff because it's the first year don't worry about it. I already know it all. I'll teach you guys. So, Den Denilson, Lamett versus Chase Anderson. We lose that game 4-2. to two. Matt Stram versus Brent Suter. And here we go. Critical situation. So, Eric Hosmer is up. Perfect. We It is the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. We are down by one. One swing of the bat could win us the game. And I got my stud up there. Eric Hosmer. Or I could fail miser miserably. <laughs> it's the first, uh, the first act of this franchise mode. So, let's go, Eric Hosmer. Let's get that walk off. Well, here we go, boys. There he is, the man making the big bucks, Eric Hosmer, first baseman for the San Diego Padres. He's 0 for 3 on this game, hitting 200 on the season. The season is still young. Oh, fuck, it's a lefty. Oh, I didn't know it was a lot. I was hoping it was a righty. All right, do we have any? Uh, I'm not going to switch out. I just want to know who is on the bench. Uh, Tickerson, he bats left as well. I had just bats right, but I'm not bringing him in. Jankowski bats left. Oh, we're screwed. All right, boys. So I'll do my best right here. We do have some speed on first, so maybe if I can hit a gapper, you never know. I could also try to steal. How many outs? Okay, I think I'm going to take the first pitch no matter what. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so no slide step right there. What's his speed of his pitches, his hater? Four seams at 95. That's He's got some heat there. I wouldn't mind trying to go for a steal, get the runner in scoring position. But hang on, let me just outweight this a little. If I can go for a home run, if I got a perfect four seam, I'll swing. But I don't want to. Nope. All right, now stealing. I don't know if stealing on this guy is the right idea. He doesn't have a very long windup, and if he throws that four seam, my steal is only 23, so I might get a shitty jump. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm in a hitter's count right here. Nope. All right, you know what? No need to steal now. I might get, uh, I might get on just with a walk right here. Put the runner in scoring position for free. So, Eric Hosmer, I order you to take one. You do not have the green light. All right? Red light. Red light. Can he get? Can he hit the strike zone? Can't even hit the strike zone. All right, boys. So, good job, Hosmer. Your friggin' on-base percentage has gone up. Now we got Hunter, Hunter Renfro, the man with the potential. Now, wait a minute. He's got all the power in the world versus lefties, doesn't he? 93! Yes! But vision. 
38. All right, all right. We got a little bit of luck here. We got through, uh, uh, what's his name? Eric Hosmer, who's not great against lefties. Well, not, not horrible, but not as good as he is against righties. But now we got the man with 93 power. So all I got to do is hit this sucker. All I got to do is hit it. Should I go for a ground ball? I try to hook it. No, I try to hook it. Just go for the swing, baby. Go for the swing. A single will tie up this game. Oh, I should have swung, boys. I was even thinking in my head, he's going to throw a first pitch four seam because he had a four pitch walk. I just, I didn't want to swing the first pitch. I couldn't, I couldn't get the bat off the shoulder. All right, now I got to. Come on, baby. Taking that. There you go. There you go. The one four seam down the middle. I know, boys. I know. It's just, it's the bottom of the ninth. This is the first time I'm hitting today. I got to see a few pitches to get in the groove. I can't just be swinging at everything. Here we go. Oh, I didn't swing. you damn right. It looked like a four seam, but uh, the different finger position fucking change up. Ten miles per hour slower, and it dips right to the plate. Thank God. The eye of the tiger allows me to check swing. All right, two and one's the count. Hitters count, baby. Let's go. That first pitch four seam got myself back into position. Taking that. Oh, you know what? Like, I thought, uh, I did not think it was going to be a slider, to be honest. But I'm glad I didn't swing at that, even though it was called a ball. If that was called a strike, I wouldn't have wanted to swing at that. So, three and one. We really got the count now. Anything inside, swing at, baby. Come on, for the fans. You know what? I tried to check swing that, so I'm just glad I didn't hit it too early. Yeah, it was, it was probably going to be a strike. So three and two is the count. Runners in motion. Let's go. I'm going to aim straight down here. Runners in motion. There it is. There it is. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Over the head. Go. 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 Walk off double to start our franchise here in San Diego. Way to go, Renfro. Hosmer gets on his horse from first. And scores, and that's a walk-off. That's a great way to start it, Boyles. That's a fantastic way to start it. Yeah. So Renfro against lefties, he's got some pop. I was aiming down with that sucker. It was a liner, too. I didn't think it was going to be gone. I was wondering, is the left fielder going to be able to get there? Is he going to be able to get there? But over the head, and once it's over the head, Braun over there in left field, not exactly uh, uh, a speedster in left field, not a center fielder. You know, I could be wrong. Maybe he is fast. I thought he's more powerful. But whatever. The news is good. The San Diego Padres have won their first game of the season. Now, I did say a few different game plays in this video, right? We're not done just yet. Maybe we can get a, uh, a pitching uh, critical situation or a fielding one. Uh, Hunter Renfro. Great job, my man. Walk off. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the main. So there it is. The first win of the season for the San Diego Padres. Baby, we beat the Milwaukee Brewers. Oh, by my hand, I got in there. So let's continue the simulation, shall we? Next up, we got the Colorado Rockies, who are 3-0. Clayton Richard versus Chad Bettis. Ah, here we go. Wade Dave is looking to close out Corey Spangenberg. Is that it? Bottom of the 10th, no out. Spangenberg is a home run away from the cycle. Ah, press square to power swing. Well, we're already down 5-2. to two. I don't want to hit for the cycle. That's okay. Simulate to the end of that game. The Rockies have defeated the Padres 5-2. No way I'd hit a home run. Let's try to get, like, a pitching situation here. Jesus, our team is bad. All right, next up, Luis Perdomo versus Antonio Senzatella. There we go. That's a nice victory, the first sim victory. Tyson Ross, the ace, up against John Gray. There he is. We lose the worst-handed poker. Denilson Lamet versus Tyler Anderson. Here we go. Uh, DJ LeMahieu. Okay, so you've got a one-run lead to protect. Close it out with Williamson. All right, boys. So one run lead, top of the night, two out. Let's go. So here we go. DJ LeMayhew is up at the plate. We got Williamson. Uh, who is my, uh, what, what, what about Brad Hand? I guess he already came in here. Yeah, my closer's already Gonzo Alonzo. I don't know where he is. Maybe he's just, uh, yeah, where would he be? Hang on. Substitutions. Uh, bullpen. I guess he, he must have already pitched. Yeah, he's not there. Huh. All right, I'm back. Uh, top of the ninth, DJ LeMayhew, let's go. So we have a runner on second, runner in scoring position. I think he's got speed too. Yeah, Tapia, speed 95. Stealing only 15. There's no point in him stealing right now. He's going to score on a single. And we got DJ LeMayhew who has got some very good contact. <laughs> 91 contact, 81 vision. So we don't want him to put this sucker into play. Screw the ground ball. I don't think he's got much power. Does he? 35. So let's start throwing some heat up high. All right, here we go. Williamson. Come on, baby. I got the walk-off. Ah, I got the walk-off at the plate. Now it's time to get the save at the mound. First pitch, four seam. It's in there, nice and high. Yeah, I want to attack DJ up high, man. If he's going to pop it up, 
That's if he's gonna hit it deep, whatever. It's not gonna go for a home run. Yeah. <laughs> a little dribbler like that. Fielded, no problem. And the San Diego Padres win their third game of the season. So, boyos, we're gonna end it right there. I can't uh, I can't wait to win a World Series with the San Diego Padres. We're gonna do it. It's not a matter of if, it's only a matter of what. How long is it going to take? We're going to have a real good draft here, number one. I am. Uh, I think I'll go to free agency and pick the players that you, you you saw as valuable. I want guys, you know, at least 65 overall who are, like, no older than 22 years of age. Get, get a few of those players. Throw them down there in AA or AAA, see if they end up growing for us. Get a few trading assets in the offseason, make a few acquisitions. But unless we get that budget up there, you know, we're, we're going to be in trouble. We're already paying money to Hosmer and Myers. You know, if we want to bring in more players on top of that, we've got to increase our budget. So anything and everything, boys, scouting, trades, players on the team, free agency, uh, strategy, anything and everything, let me know in the comments section. And this is going to be a very frequent series. I promise you, all right? I freaking promise you. So, boys, thank you for showing up. San Diego does have a bright future. It's just going to take some time to get there. Everest isn't climbed overnight. So thanks again, boys, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, Johnny here and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. You can also swing by our website, which has forums and a live chat. That along with Twitter allows us to play with our subscribers in our GTA lobbies or the 24-7 open Minecraft server, where you can build with others or play in one of the many, many games across Superbia. Our Patreon account helps us support our website and the Minecraft server, and we also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of s***! I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win. Trip to the wild card, first inning.